Okay, hey guys. Um, I'm going to make a quick tutorial uh, telling you how to mod a game save. If you've never done it before, it can be kind of tricky. So this is going to be the basic first step uh, into the modding world or whatever. I don't even know. Okay, so first things first, you need to get to your uh, system settings. You can get through it through the Xbox Guide right here. Or if you're at the dashboard, just scroll all the way over, and it's going to be that first block right there. So either way, you'll get to this page. You're going to go to Storage. And to mod game saves, you will need a flash drive. If the flash drive hasn't been configured for the Xbox at all, you'll see this. It'll just say USB storage device. If you click on that, you have two options. Configure now will erase everything on there. And if you've got important stuff on there, you don't want to do that. So I always just do customize because game saves don't take up a bunch of space. So I always just scroll over and take the smallest amount. And just hit A. So that's going to make it so the Xbox will be able to put game saves on a portion of the flash drive so I'll still have room for files and it can take a while depending on your flash drives speed and whatnot okay so it's ready so they can put game saves on there, but it doesn't read the performance recommendations. And all that means is my flash drive is pretty old. Um, so it's not as up to speed as they would like, but it still works. Um, and as you can see here, now it says memory unit um, with that reserved space free. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go um, all devices, because I'm not sure which one has the save I want to copy. Um, and we're going to do Soul Calibur 5. And okay. So then these two devices, the hard drive and the Xbox memory, have a game save on them. So I'm just going to copy that over to the flash drive and now if we go back here you can see that that game save took up some of that reserved space and it's now on the flash drive so from this point you want to unplug the flash drive from the Xbox and put it in your computer okay so once your flash drive is plugged into your computer you want to go to it just to make sure it's there and you probably won't be able to see this because it's hidden to be able to see it you want to go to view and hidden items and depending on your version of Windows that could be different um, but it is there so we're gonna launch Horizon and the Horizon is included with the Soul Calibur 5 editor download so you don't have to go searching online for that at all and when it opens up, you should see this. Um, we're going to want to go to Games here in the Device Explorer. And it's the flash drive that we configured. So Games, so Calibre 5, and we're going to extract this. And we're just going to do it to the desktop. And there's already one there, but I want the newer one. So I'm going to Confirm Replace and it was successfully extracted so now it will be on the desktop and now we're going to launch the Soul Calibur 5 editor and we're going to go to where we saved it, I saved it to the desktop we're going to select it and it was loaded into the editor so, see the next video for a quick walkthrough of these
modes here. 